They say that 2017 is the year for the, the woman entrepreneur. I really think that the future is positive with women being a contributor you know, the purchaser of 85% of consumer products, for example, women should be contributing to how those products are designed. Women should be contributing to how those um, products are purchased online. They should have that opportunity to be in there and engaging and contributing. And I think that that is happening greater and greater every year. There are new funds popping up all the time that are really solely focused on funding women. So there's, there's a really exciting kind of arbitrage opportunity right now. What Chattanooga does really well is we create a picture of opportunity and possibility for women entrepreneurs. We paint a picture of uh, what could be that we can balance life and work, we can have a cool tech company downtown and we can be in the mountains in 15 minutes, which I love. But uh, there's an illusion to starting a company that we haven't quite popped. There's a warrior mentality that you have to have when you're starting and building a company. If you look at representation across different companies in technology and, and how women are represented, only 14% of executive positions are actually held by women today. And I think we have to firmly ground ourselves in the, that reality, and I think that will help us move more closer to um, a place where women are a are, are bigger part of the picture. We need to understand that there is immense sacrifice and brutality that comes with starting and growing a company. And the level of sacrifice that it takes to raise money to be available to carry the burden, especially as the CEO, the heaviness of that, uh, we don't talk about that. If we pride ourselves on being innovative um, in a business sense, like I think we also need to pride ourselves on being innovative in socially and culturally. By being intentional about our willingness and desire to have women at the table, I think that that will produce tremendous amounts of progress. As um, business owners, business leaders, we can choose to set the culture in our companies from the top down that emphasize having a company culture that is more human-centric. We can coach and mentor young women coming up in our companies and in our communities and me included need to make ourselves available for those women who are looking for a future in technology. Um, I needed a, an ecosystem like Chattanooga to say, you can do this, yes, come on, we're going we're gonna to support you. And so I think there's a lot of beauty in that. I think that we as leaders also need to be encouraging people to take on more than they think that they're capable of. Um, I, it has been very rare for me to see people to, in situations where um, you, know, you have high expectations and then not rise to the occasion. There are so many opportunities in tech that don't actually require you to sit at a desk at a monitor and code all day long. You could be a technical writer. You could be a videographer. You can be a user experience designer. You can be a web designer. You can be a documentation specialist. You can be a customer facing solutions engineer. You can be a security specialist, a trainer. I mean, there, it's just, there are such a variety of needs in a tech company. And it isn't just a person who develops a product. Now, having been in it for a few years, I would tell women who are looking and wondering if this is possible for them. The first thing I would ask them to do is to write down their top three fears of starting a company. What are you most afraid of? And, and, I'm, and I'm not talking like losing my money. I'm talking looking stupid, losing my reputation, not knowing what I'm doing in front of a, a, a large audience, firing people. I would say write those down and then just get very honest with yourself if you're willing and ready to confront those fears on a daily basis. Because I think more often than not, being successful in a position does not mean that you know how to do it on day one. It means that you are capable and excited to learn your way into it. Um, and I think that that really is what opens opportunity for women. Take risks, take chances, be willing to fail and start over. What problem are you like 
irrationally like crazy about solving. That is the calling.